Okay, welcome everyone back at it again. Edwin Anthony here to teach you another video related to Shopify. In this particular video, we're going to solve a very common question. And I'm sure you guys probably heard it before. It goes something like this. I made a product uh, video on my camera and now I want to add this video to my product page. I couldn't find a way to add the video. There is uh, there's an option to add a YouTube video with the embed code, but how can I add my own video? So I'm gonna to try to answer this question in two ways. One of them is with the YouTube and one of them is without. So let's get ready right away to just uh, share this product here. So why would people want it? As you know, in Shopify, or excuse me, on Amazon, on Amazon, you'll notice that there's some products that have videos on it. And videos is a very good way to showcase your product, kind of like you know a how-to or a maintenance of it or anything of that sort. It's, it's pretty good to do. Um, but a lot of people struggle with adding that content into the product system. So let's go right ahead and do one for example here. So we have this one product called Baby It's Cold Outside. It's a nice candle from the beautiful folks at Love You Candle Co. Uh, I'm just, just trying to get rid of some spacing there. And what we're gonna do in this particular product is we want to add the video inside of the description somehow, some way. One of the best ways to do that is perhaps to add it towards the end or maybe before the description comes out, however you guys see fit, right? So let's go ahead and try to find a YouTube video first and let's embed it and let's test it out. All right guys, so I'm in this previous video that we recorded a while back when I had a fresher haircut, obviously. And um, we're gonna try to see if we could grab this video and embed it as an example to the Love You Candle Co website. So let's say you guys have a YouTube channel. Uh, if you guys don't have a YouTube channel with your business, I strongly recommend you do it because YouTube is a Google product at the end of the day, right? And so go ahead and create your YouTube channel. Then from there, uh, put your branding and all that stuff and then upload your video with the title as you see fit. Right after that, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna launch the video once it's already doing what it's doing. And from here, we're gonna press the share button. And on the share button, by the way, do all of this on your computer, don't do it on your phone. Uh, once we're here, Let's go and see if we could find an embed code because that's that's really what we're looking for. We're looking for this one, embed. Well, we're going to click on that one and you'll notice that there is a height and all that type of stuff, but it's pretty much a code, right? And so we're going to click on it once, right click, copy. We're going to grab this code. We're going to go into the products here in Shopify. And then what I'm going to do is let's see if we can just press paste to see if anything happens. No, I don't like to do that. Let's not do that, guys. Let's go to the HTML, show HTML. And once we do that, all this bunch of codes and whatnot, let's click enter towards the bottom, create a new line, which is line number nine, as you can see, and then press paste, okay? And once you do that, uh, let's go ahead and uncheck that editor, and we should see now somewhere along the lines of that video. Let's press save just for now. All right, look at that. So we have uh, the video, but the video, again, is coming from YouTube and it has like the um, the thumbnail that I've created for it. Let's go ahead and see how this looks like on the front end. And mind you, this theme that I'm using, it's an old version of Impulse. You know, it's not even about nothing crazy, but let's go ahead. <clears throat> so look at that. We have the video showing up here. If people want to watch it, they have to click play, but <clears throat> the side effect of all this is that you'll see how there's a subscribe and there's the title, watch later. We have some action items from YouTube that you might not want, but you might be okay with it because this is really the most easiest way to do that by using YouTube, right? Uh, there's the watch on YouTube. If I click on this, you'll notice that it shows up, okay? So it plays properly. If you press pause, you have all these other commercials coming out. You might not want that. You're like, no, I don't want the video to show any YouTube controls. I don't want YouTube to show up. I don't want these propagandas to show up. If that is you, we're gonna have to take a little bit of an extra step in order to get this done. So that was just the halfway point. Now let me show you guys the non-YouTube way to do this. First and foremost, the first thing that you're gonna do is record your video. But once you record your video, upload that video into your desktop. So make sure that it's on your desktop like maybe you're seeing one of these guys right here, okay? Once it's loaded there, go to Shopify admin and click on where it says content. 
I'm gonna leave this page. And on content, click on upload files and search for that file that you're looking to upload and click on it. Now folks, remember, if the file is very heavy, such as like one point whatever gigabytes, over 800 megabytes, like if it's huge, okay, it's gonna take a while and it might not work, right? So what I would say is try to record as an MP4, not like the iPhone default, which is the HVAC or something like that, some weird HVAC. Um, try not to do something crazy like 4K. If you have 4K, try to see how you could compress that video so that the size or the weight of the file of the video is very compressed without disturbing quality. So make sure that you do that. This example, we're using a 72 megabyte video that I have already uploaded. When you press upload file and it's around the same size, give it some time. You're gonna see the little dialogue saying that it's still trying to up upload. Give it like a good five, 10 minutes max, right? And then press refresh just to make sure that you're seeing it just like how I'm looking at it right now. Preview of course 101. And to make sure that it's working, you click on this and you could see right there, if I press play. Right, so we begin right here. It, we always have to start in the beginning somehow. Right. right, so we know that this is in fact working. All right, so now that we have that, there is a piece of code that I have shared with you guys down in the description of this video. And it looks like this. Now what I recommend is for you guys to manipulate the height and width of this similar towards how these guys have it, which is like the 560 and 315. You see how they have it right here? 560 width, height is 315. Let's go back. So let's go back to this code. My short term memory, 560. by 315, okay, right? 560 by 315, we got it so far? Cool, let's move on. Uh, then the source code. The source code is gonna be some random code that I'm gonna share with you. It's not gonna be this exact CDN, whatever, but you're gonna grab this link. Just pay attention to this one, guys. I, I want you to pay very close attention to this part of the code, okay? Where it says open uh, source equals and then in quotes, right? you want to paste your code within the quotes. Don't paste out of it because then you're gonna mess up. Okay, so pay attention to that detail, right? Whatever code that you're gonna copy paste, the link that I'm gonna tell you to copy, make sure that when you paste it, it's within these quotes. Very important. Now, where is this link? Where do I get the link so that I could replace and update this code? You're gonna find that link here by going back into files, and then click on this copy link right there, okay? And then go back to the code and paste it, and then it should look something like this. CDN, Shopify, Blasi, Blay, right? Okay, once you've done that, let's go ahead and hover over the entire code, okay? Right click copy, all right? Now let's go look for our product. Because at this point, we have saved the video inside of Shopify servers versus YouTube servers or Vimeo servers, okay? We've saved it internally. This is great because when the page loads up for the first time, it's not fetching data from an external server or from an external, um, you know, uh, par a third party like YouTube and Venmo, right? Or Vimeo. Instead, it lives inside of your server here in Shopify. So once we have that code, let's go back to that product. Uh, I'm gonna go back to this example here and click on show HTML. Scroll all the way towards the bottom. Click on the last line, which in my case, it's eight. Yours might be different. It might be shorter, it might be longer, I don't know. Pause. So we're gonna go right here, okay? And we're gonna go to right click, paste that code that we said that we were gonna paste and press save. Okay, now that we've done so, let's go ahead and preview. And as you can see right here, we have a native YouTube, no, excuse me, a native video that's not from YouTube on your description. All right, so we begin right here. It, we always have to start in the beginning somehow, right? So this video is just... 
can you can you just just take your keyboard right just take your keyboard like this and just demolish the the like button just bah, bah, just demolish the like button because hopefully i helped you out anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video sometimes i blabber too much but i really hope that this serves uh of some type of help right we had to do a little bit of coding but it wasn't too much it wasn't too crazy and of course, if you guys have any issues or if Shopify has updated any of this, go ahead and let me know down in the comments on how much this has helped you or if you have any issues. Other than that, till next time.